Okay. You know, you're just meeting a million people tonight. Yeah. All right, I'm doing okay. I'll get your name right. Um, <laughs> Tell us about the screener tonight. Oh my gosh, here's... <laughs> This is a picture, this is a story about a group of people who put aside all their differences to solve a problem. So I think it's very appropriate that we're premiering the film here in Washington, D.C. That's so great. Talk about this very unlikely coalition of people. Well, here's the thing. You have people who, I mean, the strangest bedfellows, the most unlikely collaborators. You've got Big Oil, you've got Greenpeace, you've got uh, the, the you know, native, of, uh, native Alaskan whale hunters, you've got uh, National Guardsmen, you have the U.S. government and the Soviet government, people who, you know, would, on, in a different situation, would never talk to each other, and they all figure out how to kind of get out of their own way in order to accomplish this rather Herculean task. I am sure you ran into lots of logistical issues shooting up in Alaska. Talk about what that was like. Alaska is fantastic and utterly challenging. It was very cold. The weather was insanely unpredictable. We ran out of daylight. Well, we were shooting in the fall, so uh, we lost daylight at a rate of about three minutes a day. We had, of course, three large robotic whales, which occasionally wouldn't work, and a large ensemble cast, many of whom had never been in front of the camera before. So I had my hands full. And they are fantastic. Oh, I thought bring the picture to Alaska in large part because of the people. The people of the North Slope, the people the Nubian people, you can't find them anywhere. Except for Alaska. And, 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 and we have to talk about John Cooney. I don't think he's there anymore. Well, I've worked with both John and Drew before. I've had a, a wonderful and long history with John. I helped launch the series, The Office. And uh, I just it's such a pleasure to work with him. And Drew and I worked on the film, He's Just Not That India. When I read this script, I immediately imagined the two of them together and just thought, oh my god, what delicious chemistry they would have. How do you say the spirit of Well, it's definitely a film again about persevering against the odds. And it's ultimately, I don't want to say it's a parable of bipartisanship that sounds too political, but it is really a story about people kind of setting aside differences and solving problems. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, thank you.